Hello. <laughs> We're in the new, well, kind of new studio in Hamburg, and this lad behind me, he's a very strong chess player. Hello, Leon. Hello. Nice to see you here. You are in Hamburg, as it appears to be. How come? Um, I was invited in the uh, Bundesliga to play in the Bundesliga for the Hamburg team. Yeah. So how many games did you play? I played three games, um, but one was extra. It was the round seven game, which we kind of played a bit early. And the weekend okay. was basically round five and six. And your overall score? It was two out of three, two draws and a win. All right. So you're unbeaten so yeah. far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this means we can expect to, to see you in the Bundesliga a couple of more times in the next uh, or in this year. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, wonderful. So, welcome to Hamburg. How do you like it? It's minus five degrees today. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I love the cold, so it's not a problem for me. Yeah. Okay, that's not bad at all. So, what we're going to do is we are going to have a rapid interview. I'm going to ask a couple of questions and we have this uh, live set and uh, why not use it, I would say. So, uh, for my luck, it is already <laughs> wide for me to play. I'll so, here, yeah. yeah, I will give it a shot. So, uh, Leon, you, uh, I'll try to get you out of the uh, whole situation. We have an increment of uh, five seconds per move. Oh, okay. No, I'm just kidding. It's not working. With <laughs> yeah, I don't problem. think the increments <laughs> work here. So, so um, I'm trying to get you uh, get to ask you some questions which get you out of the spirit of the game, so you will make <laughs> the wrong moves. It, <laughs> it works. It works quite well sometimes. So, okay. um, which instruments are you actually playing? I play the violin for like the last ten years, but just as a hobby. Um, I'm not aiming to be a professional or anything. Okay. Just that um, music generally is a thing in Goa. So, yeah. It's a thing. Uh, oh, in Goa. Yeah. So you're originally from uh, Goa. Yeah, I'm from Goa. How? Oh, wow. So <laughs> what I know about Goa is that there are wild parties and there is the <laughs> festival of colors and stuff like that. Yeah. Have you ever seen uh, seen it from close? Hmm. Festival of Colors is. Do you mean Holi? Yes, the Holi uh, Festival. Like, that's sorry. in the. That's in the whole of India. So. All right. Okay. Yeah, not particularly in Goa, but in Goa we celebrate Carnival, which is the Brazilian festival. Yes. Which is kind of, I would say, unique in Goa. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And about wild parties, I know everybody keeps saying this, but I have never seen any of these. So. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Is this uh, so? You are fifteen. I'm sixteen. I'll be seventeen this year. Yeah. Seventeen. When are you going to turn seventeen? Uh, on March the thirteenth. Yeah. March thirteenth. So wow, that's in a actually it's a less than two months. Yeah. So is there anything special planned when you are going to become seventeen years old? Hmm. Do you get like driver's license <laughs> or a dog? Or <laughs> I think the driver's license is at 18, but um, anyways, I'm not too keen on getting a driver's license. <laughs> what's the point in driving and in Goa? And so I just, I'm just at home most of the time. So yes, I understand. I don't see much point driving. And yeah. <laughs> okay, so do you think you will ever have a driver's license in this case? Mm, Perhaps. Not, not in the near future, at least. Well, chess and violin playing is already uh, two things yeah. to, <laughs> to yeah. aim for after all. So, ah, why are you doing <laughs> this? Yeah. So, uh, quick chess question. Um, do you always like to stop the movement of the H4 pawn if you have the chance to? Or does it depend on how you feel? It depends if it would uh, irritate me later on. <laughs> and in this case, yes, definitely. So, I would all like right. to stop it. Okay, so what is your uh, actual rating at the very moment? At the moment it's uh, 2541, but it's I've reduced like uh, 40 points in the last few months. How um, did that happen? Uh, <laughs> it was, I would say, mainly psychological problems that I created by myself. So, based on chess, it's not like I had wow. any traumas. No, or but yeah, I understand. Yeah. But. Uh, can you emphasize on that? That sounds quite interesting. If you mm -hmm. you because you already like um, pointed that out like directly. So mm. um, what what specifically? Um, well, if you want to ask specifically, then I would say that um, it's mostly like I was too worried about the result. You could say, mm -hmm. and normally 
I guess this is a known this is a known problem in psychological part of chess but yeah. I discovered that it's much more deep than it, what it what I imagined it to be oh. this problem and um, it's my my coach helped me out with this and I think it's I feel a lot better now that yeah. I consciously know what's going wrong and uh, I can consciously think about it and fix it up so oh, that's interesting yeah. wow and uh, also uh, interesting that you could uh, point it out or find out what mm -hmm. it is in particular um, because so for me often if I just play chess for fun sometimes I'm just losing uh, very often in in a row and I'm not like I I often take out the psychological aspect but in the last couple of years I discovered that it is so important in chess yeah. almost because you learn your vocabulary you know all the openings you know all the moves how to play them you know how to uh, f uh, sharpen your tactics mm -hmm. and then the rest is a lot all around what is happening even uh, privately and on the chessboard and stuff like this. Yeah. Have you uh, ever um, thought like, I, I'm done with chess now. I, I, I really, I'm, I, I'm, I'm quitting now. No, I, that has never happened. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm really happy that is because um, it, it gets frustrating sometimes but mm -hmm. because things don't really go your way sometimes. But it's kind of addictive if you like it. So... <laughs> So yeah, that's why I'm still here. <laughs> Is this the first time you're playing with a classical uh, clock? Mm, no, not really. One of my coaches when I was quite young, he had these this old clock. So it it was pretty old and it worked. <laughs> it still worked. <laughs> so, yeah. so you know how much time you still have left, right? Yes. It's just uh, as it's I like can a see. Clock. No, it's just like 10 minutes. <laughs> 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 I think uh, that's still sufficient though for me. It's, it's between the you and me. Nobody <laughs> noticed. Um, anyway, so um, okay, let me ask you one thing. You are playing for Hamburg. Yeah. Is there any other uh, club team you're playing for? Mm, I played um, in the French league last year in June. Ooh la la. Yeah, for. Um, was the team Mulus Philidor Mulus okay and um, yeah it was a really strong tournament it's probably the second best league after the German one after the German <laughs> league yeah <laughs> but the plus point with the French league is that it's a whole tournament and it's um, it's not like ah, weekends that's the only plus point I would say true yeah. oh that I didn't actually know oh that's interesting but most leagues are weekends it's just some of these like the French and a few others strong ones which are whole tournaments I see uh, actually, why and how did you uh, come to Hamburg, to the Hamburg SK? I mean, it's, uh, uh, I know that they're getting some players here and there, but normally, if I recall it correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, normally the players were from the Netherlands, maybe from Scandinavia yeah. or something like, like kind of neighbor countries yeah. of Hamburg. But it's not only you, after all. It's also Nihal mm -hmm. uh, Sarin, who's playing for Hamburg this year. Yeah. I, and last last season too. Last yeah. season too. Yeah. I see. So does it have any uh, connection with Nihal, or what? What is? Mm. Uh, how, how come? I don't know how Nihal got into the club, but um, there was no connection. Mm -hmm. But I had uh, asked the manager, Mr. Reinhard. I don't know how to pronounce his surname, but <laughs> yeah, okay. just Mr. Reinhardt. Reinhardt uh, sounds very good so far. <laughs> <in> that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's that's all I know. But um, and uh, he said that mm, there would not be much chance because they were uh, kind of uh, getting rid of players because um, the thing is they had increased the number, but then they had to decrease the number of players in the whole team, and so it would kind of be difficult. But then I was very fortunate that he approached me like about two months later and asked me whether I would like to join the club so yeah I'm really grateful for that and I'm <laughs> just really happy that's so cool and uh, so were you asking around clubs in general like where you go like I would like to play in the Bundesliga because it's just a strong league how about Hamburg because uh, Frederick mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Frederick Friedel, uh, owner of Chessbase, you you know quite well. He knows yeah. a lot of people uh, who are th the young stars from India. You you know Chessbase quite well. You've been here already. So does this uh, play into the the Hamburg decision? 
Um, honestly, no. Mm-hmm. But um, it was just, I think, quite fortunate for me that Mr. Reinhardt gave me an opportunity. I did not expect it too soon, honestly. I see, I see. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I'll retreat my uh, night in this <laughs> very second because he's <laughs> a bit under attack. Mm-hmm. So, uh, how do you like your position so far? Very nice. <laughs> mm. uh, well, that's not what you want to hear. <laughs> okay, I have to give some some counters here. Try to make this complicated. What are your favorite... This is something I have to always ask. Give me two to three of your favorite chess books you would recommend to yeah, the chess-based audience. Hmm. So, for the higher level, I would say about... Mm, 2100 or 200 and above mm-hmm. I would say Gelfand's books are quite uh, quite amazing I mean okay this positional decision making and dynamic decision making and the uh, the next two which he came out technical decision making and uh, decision making r- major piece end games they are quite high level I mean I really enjoyed them and they, you re- really need to concentrate to mm-hmm. s- absorb as much as you can from the book and yeah I mean these are really amazing for high level players and who want to improve a lot, uh, who want to go to the next step, I would say. Okay. And other than that, of course, there is the general Dvoretsky's Endgame Manual, where uh, he, it's basically theoretical endgames. It deals with theoretical endgames, which mm-hmm. you should know by heart, I would say. And also there is, um, I think it was called Understanding Rook Endgames by Karsten Müller and uh, Yakov Konoval. Mm-hmm. Do you know that book? I am afraid not. Okay, but um, I think it's a pretty old book, like for 10, 10 15 years uh-huh. only now. But I found it amazing still because the examples were pretty good. Yeah, I like nice. them. Yeah. yeah, you're going to have a Endgame Magic show with Carsten <laughs> Miller too. Yeah. So one of the authors. So yeah, write this down, uh, dear audience. These are the books which are recommended. I think Dvor- Dvoretsky's Endgame Manual has been named a couple of hundred times so far yeah Wait, definitely. whoa 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 whoa, whoa. you're just <laughs> taking this one okay good uh, and there he cuts off my little tiny chances of trying to give a little bit of counterplay but i am not done yet i am not done yet for some reason you have lost a lot of time ah yes i don't know why but uh, <laughs> <laughs> just uh, probably because yeah, somebody I, Somebody, yeah, I know. You, I don't you, know who. You but mean somebody was uh, was trying to to mess up stuff here? Yes, yes, exactly. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness, that is that is really like uh, I don't know. I don't want to call this cheating, but um, maybe it is cheating or something. I like don't that. know who this person is, but it keeps no, happening. I, I don't worry. Those those are the clocks. They're sometimes yeah. like a, unpredictable. That's how yeah. I would like to call. It. That's the yeah. fun part about. I all guess of that's this. life. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, whose turn is it? Oh, it's my yeah. turn. Okay, I will do this. Oh gosh, there she comes, the queen. <laughs> Hello there. How are you doing? Yeah. What what is she what is she doing there? Okay. Um <laughs> what what else can I ask you? Do you so you're doing violin? You're you're playing the violin. <laughs> you are playing chess. What else are some of the things you like to do to clear your head or just <laughs> have fun? Clear my head. I I like to play basketball. Basketball. Yeah. Uh, a chess friend, in fact, taught, taught me how to play basketball. Who's that? His, his name is Elliot. He's from France. And uh, he's like, he's an international master too. Uh-huh. And he introduced me to basketball. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> I that love the game. Yeah. That is interesting. Yeah. So I, I don't want to offend anybody here, but for basketball players, you would normally assume you should be like one meter nine to <laughs> two meters. Yeah, but, definitely. But you uh, take the advantage by being quick and mm. uh, dribbling and all of that, I guess. Yeah, I mean, if I, I'm not, I'm not aiming to be any professional, so sure, it, I, I think height part. doesn't matter for me. It's just the game mm. that matters. Excellent, so. excellent. Yeah. So basketball it is, and there's a club in in Goa, or not really, but there are courts. I yeah, see. So in the afternoon, you just go there, yeah. and there will be some, yeah, b balls. Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, I had the same experience with uh, soccer or, or hmm. football, as you might yeah. call it. It's my turn again. What? <laughs> the, oh yeah, I played the queen. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> uh, I have to. Uh, okay, what kind of question can I give you so I can think a little bit <laughs> about this position? Um, uh, yeah. Do you wait? Uh, what? Uh, mm, 
Uh, let me let me think of something. What would be a good question to ask <laughs> you to disrupt you from the game? <laughs> 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 I'm safe now. <laughs> <laughs> See, I really don't know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> that was a very aggressive move anyway. Uh, yeah. Not at all. Mm. Okay. Good. Now so Sorry. what can I what can I do here in this Oh yeah, no. I'll go here. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I had not seen that coming. Though. Yeah, me neither, to be <laughs> honest. It just uh, happened. This is this is how I play chess anyway. <laughs> I just see things and then I play them. I think I'll just try to take this one. Oops, sorry for the microphone. Yeah, we're getting into the, uh, almost into the blitz phase. Maybe not really, <laughs> but uh, we're getting in the direction. How can I break through here? Because this is the this, <laughs> this stupid pawn is in the way. So I have to... Let me make this here. <laughs> I hope this is not uh, damaging too much. <laughs> what is your favorite chess piece? Um, I don't know. It's hard to say because they all work differently. And I would say I like to play with bishops, I guess. But huh. <laughs> it really okay. depends on the position, I think. Would you rather have uh, two bishops or two rooks in the end game and one pawn less? Two rooks? Two, two pawns less. So two bishops and two pawns versus two rooks? Yeah. Hmm, it depends, I think, on the pawn structure because if the pawns are connected, then I think... I, I think I would say the bishops. All right. Um, but if the pawns are disconnected... It depends how safe my king is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you can uh, attack my king soon, then I would not be too happy. Jeez. Okay, I understand. Good. So I had uh, I had you with the double pawn, and now it's gone again. <laughs> Good. Okay. And uh, probably I even will go back with my knight. That is so sad. Actually, I have to go here. Otherwise, I'll Check. I will cry. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wh what is happening here now? <laughs> Nothing, honestly. Where where does this bishop want to go to? <laughs> I don't understand. Is the time still working well? Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, I have to stop mm -hmm. this. So, uh, who is your favorite chess player? Um, in the beginning, it was Magnus Carlsen, but I didn't know for what reason. <laughs> Just <laughs> that he was world champion. Okay, well, that's a valid reason, uh, definitely. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm more sensible, I would say, I think... I don't really have a favorite. That's the honest truth. Yeah. Because I learned to appreciate mm, all different kinds of players who've been successful, so to say. Like Aronian is interesting. Topalo was interesting. Kramnik. I mean, I was fascinated by all of these guys. And Kasparov, of course, is <laughs> needless to say. And <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, Karpov, uh, his profile axis and... His way of just playing slowly, I mean, it was just amazing. All of these guys are amazing, I, sh mm -hmm. I should say. I, c I can't really pick a favorite here. Okay, yeah, that's a good answer. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Anand, of course, yeah. Anand, Anand course, is one yeah. too, yeah. <laughs> Heard of him, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have to jump around with my knights. It's so stupid. I feel mm, like but unfortunately, I'm going to lose this guy. Oh, no. Wow. Did you, yeah, you, you anticipated that already, I assume, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay, good. Then I have to try to break through somewhere else. <laughs> okay, that pawn is gone. That is sad, but it's true. <laughs> and the, the, the worst problem is that you're not even thinking anymore, Leon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just stopped <laughs> because you know already. Okay, do you want me to think? No, no, don't worry. Uh, you, you don't need to. I can think, think if you want. <laughs> 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 it's fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Um, what are your favorite openings for black and white? Hmm. I mean, with black, I play the semi-slav, the slav, Nimzo Indian, mm -hmm. uh, against E4, the Sicilian, Nidov, then French, Karokan. But f I don't, honestly, I don't have any favorites because it's kind of, all these op openings are different and they just like, they are interesting in their own way, honestly. Yeah. Because they have different motives and um, different ideas, different structures. 
I just blundered. So oh, I guess your question it worked. worked. It worked. <laughs> yeah, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I, I thought like, oh, it's going to be a trick or something, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, for <gasps> <you>. <laughs> yeah, well, but, but it's but still my position is still good. Don't it's, it's, don't it's far, don't relax. Far better, unfortunately, and yeah. uh, I still am not sure what to play next. Mm. Uh, but you know what? Since I, I am a I am a night person, so hmm. I'll try to. Um, get those a bit more active <laughs> don't know how though <laughs> and I'm always I'm dodging against the microphone I hope you're not uh, too annoyed dear the viewer that I'm always always uh, hearing this oh hmm. <laughs> mm, that's uh, that's unfortunate that is unfortunate why didn't I think about that <laughs> <laughs> well maybe I have to do this that's also not so good hmm. yep oh gosh yeah, well, it all doesn't matter. No. <laughs> you want to move that a bit away or something? Hmm? You want to move it a bit away or something? No, no, it's fine. It's going to be fine. Okay. Uh, you, you can hear me loud and clear, I guess. So. <laughs> mm, do you have any favorite chess series that you enjoyed watching or just chess movies? Chess movies? There was Searching for Bobby Fischer. Yes. Which I had watched quite some time back already now. Many years back. And also, ah, yes, Magnus Carlsen's The 16th World Champion. It was more of a documentary, uh, one hour, 20 minutes. I don't think you can call it a movie, but yeah. That was amazing. And let's see. I haven't watched a lot of chess movies, honestly. But these well, are definitely good. Many yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but these are really good, I think. Okay. I'm I'm losing piece after piece and this is this almost looks like it's going to be the newest queen in this <laughs> game, which is making me madly sad. <laughs> but uh, I'm willing I'm willing to keep on fighting uh, somehow. Not sure yet how I'm going to do that. Maybe like this. I, I think my my knight might be in, in big, big trouble now. No, it's going to just go away. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is not working either. <laughs> mm, nothing is really working here. Yep. Oh, no. Is this the end? This <laughs> is probably the end. But, you know what? <laughs> I will you might not lose on the game, but you might lose on time. <laughs> 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 that, that, that's a good assessment. I think, uh, <laughs> oh wait, let me go here to avoid another check. Get take this guy. Okay. So, can't I, like, uh, win, win some queen back, maybe? Mm, nah, I don't think so. Oh. That that's the whole reason, right? <laughs> that is. I could also come back with my bishop, but I don't okay. say. Anything. Well, that's a queen. Yeah, I'm okay. sorry. Yeah, yeah, you can take. This it. is this <laughs> is a queen. <laughs> yep. Okay. That. Ah, <laughs> the last trick, <laughs> and it's not working. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Uh, now I think. I am it's time to lose on time. It's time <laughs> to lose on time. That is, uh, yeah, that's very well said. Yeah, I think I think I just lost this one. <laughs> that that was uh, a very good game, Leon. <laughs> Let me ask you a couple of more uh, questions after this because now I can also finally concentrate uh, <laughs> on on uh, asking you a couple of things. Yeah. So, what are the the next tournaments and plans for you for the next couple of weeks or months? Mm, my next games would be the in the hungarian league mm -hmm. and ah, yeah. yeah that would be on the 18th and 19th and after that i would probably play some tournament in europe around here mm -hmm. but i haven't decided which ones yet so all right but i would be in europe i guess for some time no. i gotcha so uh, chess is kind of your life you are fully committing to this yeah when do you are you thinking about reaching 2600 soon yeah definitely i mean that's my next immediate goal at least is it going to be 2700 too yes i i, I would want to ha i would want that to happen so so <laughs> you want to be part of the the yeah 
2700 club do you think you can reach it before you're turning 18 i would very much want that to happen but <laughs> uh, i mean it's all up to fate i, I would try my best definitely yeah. Yeah. i see yeah uh, how do you uh, compare having this pressure which is always there yeah. for a professional chess player after yeah. all how can you try to balance this out is it learning by doing or do you have some ideas about this already especially because you learned a couple of psychological aspects uh, very recently too yeah in fact reaching these goals is also kind of added to playing for the result because <laughs> in order to win you need uh, in order to get the rating you need absolutely, to win absolutely yeah. yeah so the thing is to think less about that and r rather be more involved with the game. At least that's what I learned. Mm. And uh, because y you think at in the beginning you might be handling it well, that you're not thinking about the result, you're playing the game. But in fact, it just builds up uh, subconsciously. Mm -hmm. And then in the critical moments, you just do some nonsense and then you wonder why. It's basically just this bi uh, things which have built up in your mind, mm. subconscious. Wow. Yeah, it is a really tough business and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's always fascinating that uh, there's still a lot of pe players and people who are so good in this uh, certain area and try to perceive even becoming better, although there's so much stress and other things of, uh, involved in all of this. Yeah. Leon, um, I will see you soon enough again, I hope, a couple yeah. of more times so we can have another rematch maybe. Maybe, I I don't know, maybe you can uh, have a little uh, less time Yeah, next sure, time definitely. Because now we had the equal amount of time <laughs> and yeah. uh, that was, of course, very uh, difficult <laughs> for me. Mm, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we will see about that. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this a little bit and uh, we will see each other soon enough. <laughs> Bye. Bye.